What's up everyone, it's your boy Rad 89 here bringing you another video and for today's video we're going to go over my October haul of physical media in terms of 4K, Blu-rays, and DVDs. I recently did a vinyl video of all the October stuff that I pulled up or picked up during October but today like I said you're going to go over my 4Ks, Blu-rays, and all that kind of stuff. I didn't pick up as much as I thought they were going to be. There's one, two, three, four, five, only five things to talk about so it's not going to be that long of a video but please like the video that definitely helps out the channel and I hope you enjoy. Let's get down to it. Roll it. <laughs> So today we are discussing my October haul of physical media and now this first one I'm very happy because this is Ty West Maxine and owning this one now means I have Pearl, I have X, I have Maxine, I have the complete X trilogy on physical media with slips and everything and this is the 4K plus Blu-ray release right here and fantastic, fantastic trilogy, easily one of the greatest trilogies in horror ever and Maxine this specific film right here is the second in ranking this is my second favorite in the franchise I still love X that's my absolute favorite Pearl is third but I give all three films in this franchise a very very positive rating Next up, we have In a Violent Nature, which is a really crazy experimental horror film that came out this year that I really didn't think I would like. And I, this is like one word to describe this film for me is this film is a mood. It's completely a mood. Watching this film, I was sucked into it. It was gripping. It's beautiful to look at. It definitely has an atmosphere, which is kind of crazy because it doesn't have a score. It doesn't have music. It's Think of it as... Friday the 13th, but we're following the killer's perspective most of the way instead of the other people. So that's how it is. Except for like the first or the last 10 minutes of this film, which is my biggest gripe with the movie. But I still do think this is a really cool film. And apparently we're supposed to be getting a sequel to this movie. Next up, we have Arrow Video's release of Mute Witness, and this is one that was quite a huge surprise for me. This is one of those films like breezing around on like Tubi or like Shudder one day. I discovered it, I watched it, and I was completely mad at myself and mad at the horror community because no one told me about this film. It is absolutely fantastic. It is like a stock, like stock and kill type film, but it also has espionage type stuff in it going on. It's like a sexploitation type film as well. We have a fantastic final girl in this film, and this is the movie that actually sparked my idea for a new show or a new series that I'm going to be doing on the channel pretty soon, so stay tuned. But yeah, Mute Witness, I cannot recommend this film enough. It is really an amazing watch. Now we have the Peanuts Deluxe collection and this is all the peanuts holiday films right here we have the thanksgiving one the great pumpkin we have you know the christmas one new year all that stuff the vote the voting one right here we have all of them on here right in valentine's day you can tell i already watched the great pumpkin one so it's like it's missing and stuff like that so yeah the peanuts always a great classic to watch these films and stuff and i saw this it was all of them remastered so and it's a uh, this is dvd like i said this is a mix of dvds we have 4ks blu-rays all kind of stuff so yeah was very happy to add that to the collection as well and now coming up, last but not least, you know, our final release, we have the Critters Collection from Shout Factory, which has four Critters films in it. It doesn't have all the films. I believe Critters Attacks isn't in here, which is a made-for-TV sci-fi film. It's, it's all right. D. Wallace did come back for that movie. It's okay. You know what I mean? This is a very nice, solid hard box, so that's what's really cool. And these are kind of stuck in there, but they're all Blu-rays, which is cool. I love that. We have Critters, the first one. And what's kind of fun is I recently just went through these films with my son for the first time. He'd never seen them. I watched, when I picked up the set, I watched all of them with him. And after doing that and, re and watching them and stuff, he, he likes Critters better than Gremlins. That was kind of a shot to the heart because I am a Gremlins fan. But I respect it. I respect the choice by my son. Critters 2, which is my favorite, the main course right here. This is my absolute favorite in the franchise. Then we have Critters 3, and which was kind of funny in Critters 4 right here. And really what I found kind of funny is on this most recent watch with my son, 
is that I actually found Critters 4 to be more enjoyable for me than Critters 3, which is not how I ranked it, I think, last time. I think last time I put Critters 3 above 4, but yeah, I think Critters 4, I had more fun with it on this rewatch. And yeah, this really a good franchise just to add to the collection for me, just to complete the horror stuff, because me, I'm a completionist, really adding this, and then now I really just got to get Critters Attacks, which I don't know if that has a physical media release. I'll have to check that out on like Blu-ray.com. But thanks for sticking around with me all for this video. I hope you all enjoyed And please let me know down below in the comment section, did you scoop up any cool physical media during October? Any spooky films? I would love to hear and discuss from you. And please like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And have that notification bell poked so you're notified any time I drop content. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.